Hello Internet, not the word because I still don't think anyone watches this channel, especially based on the results of the original upload of this. I am Heliophobia and canonically outside for the first time. I'm live tonight from the WWE Human Rights Tribunal in Saudi Arabia. This is YouTubers versus TikTokers. On the YouTube site tonight is Logan Paul. He's an infamous actor who has previously pretended as if he was colorblind, pretended as if he's had morals by being extremely disrespectful in Japan. I just gotta be careful to not like disrespect the culture because Logan, Japan is all about the respect. I don't know why they cut the forest feed. I don't think anything bad happens there. And then doing an infamous apology. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. Before proceeding a few years later to scam his subscribers and then pretending he's also a good boxer by making out with KSI, losing oh. two fights in a row and trying to build up his ego, fighting a bunch of retired fighters or otherwise automatically taking the win in boxing fights with Dylan Dennis who repeatedly insulted his wife and how many men she was previously with because he just went and got himself disqualified and embarrassed himself in front of the whole community because he could talk the talk but not walk the walk. I'd like to welcome KSI! He, 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 he just hijacked my live show. If you get to do it your style, I'm finishing this in my style. Definitely not because I filmed lots of this video like a couple of days ago. I mean, in my defense, if Smackdown's pre recorded, I don't see why Heliophobian can't be. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone knows who KSI and Logan Paul are. Both huge YouTubers. Logan Paul was probably the top beneficiary of the Vine to YouTube pipeline when it shut down for new videos in October 2016, now sporting over 23 and a half million subscribers on his main channel. Whilst KSI has been a long time YouTuber, making videos since 2010, and he's also been making music, which both peaks and troughs. In quality, his main channel has 24.1 million subscribers, making him a second largest channel in the UK, whilst his second channel has 16 million. And I don't even have 1,000, let alone a million, which is unfortunate for as stupid as I am. At least my use of unnecessarily verbose vocabulary educates people on like whatever KSI manages to say in a single sentence. <laughs> I, I might just topped him off like it was nothing. Get chefed, my G. <laughs> Oh, it's a madness. So, so uh, p please subscribe. If you didn't see the intro skit, throughout November and December 2017, Logan Paul went through a lot of controversies after what he did in Japan, including recording a dead body in the suicide forest in Japan and showing it uncensored to a child audience. And then in the wake of that, KSI actually decided to call out Logan Paul at his Joe Weller boxing fight in February 2018. Is there anything you want to say to someone? Anything you want to say, you can come get it. something I will forever hate the zone for taking on because it started the YouTube boxing cash grab which still goes on to this day and then they had two fights in August 2018 and November 2019 respectively the first was a tie a second was won by KSI and then likely some smart manager who realized they couldn't live off his hype forever I mean Logan's lucky he hasn't been scammed following the crypto zoo drama probably just called him up and I was like oh we've got a really good business up his game between so you and KSI's name can be intertwined forever more often than the hands at the boxing ring <laughs> yeah I still don't know how someone with this performance managed to get a WWE deal was Ronda Rousey is now just a bloody Raid Shadow Legends character. Uh, I mean she actually won something at least despite her balloon sized ego. So at the start of 2022 the energy drink company Congo Brands most well known for called upon KSI and Logan Paul and summoned them together to put aside their differences they've been boxing about for years and come together for a uniting cause. Money. Me? It's real! With both each receiving a 20% share in the energy drink crime, they decided to heavily push it and instantly became one of the biggest energy drink brands in the world, claiming in 2022 250 million US dollars in retail sales. On August 2nd, 2023, a class action lawsuit was filed in California by the Milberg Law Firm, whose real name I can't be bothered to say. And to be fair, they are sort of up there with being like one of the most well respected law firms in the entire US. And essentially, in this lawsuit, they claimed that in the grape flavor after doing independent testing, they had found forever chemicals or PFAs, which they claim weren't labeled to the consumers properly. These forever plastics can actually cause some serious issues if you take too much of them, such as a reduction in kidney function, metabolic syndrome, thyroid 
disruption and pregnancy defects. And thus if the claim's true, it does make sense why they want to deal with it in court. And reportedly a $5 million judgment has been filed. And look at this point, I'm legally obliged to say that Prime denied all the allegations in a motion to dismiss that they made on April the 18th, which is why this situation is like in the public zeitgeist anyway now. Claiming that the lead plaintiff, Elizabeth Castillo, had not alleged a cognizable injury, nor had they ever shown concrete proof of potential future harm. So he's basically saying, but not him, uh, Prime's lawyers, not, not Logan Paul, they're basically saying, ah, uh, they're just speaking BS. In many countries, PFOS and PFAS, the chemicals that are alleged to be in Prime in the lawsuit are heavily restricted. But since, like I've said in previous videos, the FDA loves companies committing October 7th on its consumers before they do anything. Many plastic products in the US are known to contain these chemicals, which can actually cause cancer in extreme cases. You've said extreme cases, forcing me to have to potentially defend Logan Paul because his haters, although understandably hating him, may have potentially gone too far and made defamatory allegations against him. Again, I do need to stipulate that the lawsuit by Milberg that I just mentioned is still in court and I don't really have enough evidence on either side to prove or disprove anything that either Milberg or Prime Hydration have said. But what we do have is enough common sense to prove that this TikTok lawyer, because you know, they're very reliable, was probably a bit dumb. There's this TikTok lawyer, you know, and definitely very legitimate, called Tommy the Lawyer, who somehow has basically a quarter of a million followers compared to my like 11, although my content is objectively better, so uh, please follow. And he said after the PFA lawsuit I mentioned earlier, he was going to use the proof of that to file a lawsuit based on the insane claim that he's going to make. <laughs> and I'll I'll just play the clear. Our office was actually recently contacted by a young boy who has leukemia after drinking prime hydration and PFOs and PFAs have been linked to specific types of cancer. And yeah, this video went viral with over 13 million views because not only is it a very serious issue if children are getting leukemia of drinking prime hydration bottles, because at that rate, it's gonna be killing more people than the stampedes. Black Friday style when it first launched in the UK. Wallet, come closer. I'm going to charge you 100,000 pounds extra. It would also be a field day for a lawsuit. But instead of like actually researching this supposed case he got in his office and then filing the lawsuit if it was true, because again, these guys are making millions of this, well, hundreds of millions, and it would be a good way to spread awareness. He provides absolutely no evidence yet milks it for another two videos. And as such, on the 24th of April, Logan Paul released this response on TikTok, which has 2.2 million views. Now, 2.2 million likes, excuse me, and are over 30 million views, basically responding to everything. And even people who don't necessarily really like Logan Paul. He would praise this response. Like, he clearly recorded like sort of hastily but it's still like more well edited than like 90% of the videos on this channel. And I'll just play you a few key moments. Not only is there a lawsuit against Logan Paul's company Prime for there being PFOs which are forever chemicals in the Prime hydration drink. First off anyone can sue anyone at any time that does not make the lawsuit true and in this case it is not. There's claims that PFOS or forever chemicals come from plastic so in this case they're not talking about the actual drink the liquid Prime. We use the top bottle manufacturers in the United States all of your favorite beverage brands, Coke, Pepsi, Tropicana, Dr. Pepper, they use these companies. Accordingly, we follow Title 21 for the Code of Regulations for PET and all other types of bottles. The products are manufactured by our company in a manner compliant with all pertinent current good manufacturing practices by the United States Food and Drug Administration. All of our suppliers use GMP facilities. I don't see the point in saying this. Oh, we, we do good manufacturing practices. Just say bloody FDA compliant or something. Making up stupid acronyms to make yourself seem more legit. According to the testing done by one of the lawyers for the plaintiff. Whoa, hold it. You saw Goodman or Walter White, brother, because this little study that was conducted by a lawyer is absolute bullshit. They're claiming that Prime has 0.06 PPT, parts per trillion. But that's interesting because the EPA says that anything under 1.1 PPT cannot be deemed as reasonably accurate, meaning they don't have the right tools or resources to even prove what they're claiming. Are you following this? It means the detection limit is 66 times more than what they're claiming we have in our drink. And that's just the detection limit. Your own state will not even take action unless it's over 40 parts per trillion. So we don't even think this information is fact. Interesting here there's not an outright denial though because I mean sure he's actually done a good job so far of controlling the narrative and I actually do find some of his points convincing. <coughs> 
But I mean, I do get it. There's still a legal process going on. And if it turns out Millburg aren't lying about this, it wouldn't be a good law. Because Logan Paul's S talking them on TikTok. One prime hydration drink, they found three times the amount of PFOs that you should consume in drinking water in your life. <laughs> We have a very big multi-million dollar filter. Weird flex, but okay. That filters the water from the state. Water you drink at home, water provided by the state before we make it into prime. If this claim about PFOs and PFAs is true, what is that saying about your state water? That I mean, in this fake has Lloyd's defense though. But acting as if there's never been issues with water in the US. Just search up her Flint, Michigan between 2014 and 2019, just for starters. And that's basically all of Logan's response. And yeah, in his video's conclusion, he's basically like a, oh, 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 much healthier than Gatorade. We have all these electrolytes and a bunch of over a jock and that you definitely understand. Even though we have over 200 milligrams over the legal limit of caffeine per liter in New Zealand and got ourselves banned. And we're also heavily restricted in our energy drinks in a bunch of other countries. Out now. Is where you'll probably want to throw your can. And yeah, on the same day, Tommy makes a groveling apology and I'll just play a few clips on that as well. So as some of you know, and when I say some, I mean about 30 million. I did a video about a week ago talking about a class action lawsuit that was filed against Prime Hydration which is partly owned by Logan Paul. And in that lawsuit, they allege that there are forever chemicals, PFOS and PFAS, in the, in the uh, prime hydration drink. And that video got like over 16 million views. And then several days later, I think yesterday, Logan Paul did a video responding to me that got, I think he's got like 13 million views at this point. So as I've been reflecting and looking at the onslaught of comments that that I've gotten, that Logan's gotten, it honestly made me think that I think this might be a good lesson for all of us on social media that sometimes it's okay to pause, it's okay to reevaluate. No, 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 it, it's not us, it, it's you. You're the one who got it wrong. I was claiming Logan Paul was like killing people with leukemia. I mean, keep in mind that Logan Paul is like a social media brand as well. He's not like the next hair Coca Cola or the bloody Sackler family who hide very low key. Reputation is everything for a YouTuber. He's literally gonna get no benefit in like killing children, especially if they wanna avoid getting vigilante on the street. But the truth of the matter is, is that I was reporting on a lawsuit that had been filed. You weren't reporting, you literally said a child was getting leukemia and died. <laughs> if you're just reading out the lawsuit and the claims, that, that's fair enough. But on the other hand, if you didn't feel guilty about the video, and especially if you're a lawyer, why, why didn't you keep the videos up? Would have been an easy slam dunk lawsuit. I mean, at least he does say sorry. And in all seriousness, I respect Logan Paul. Logan, I'm sorry, brother. I am. But I ain't cutting my hair. Which is like higher than the borderline for most YouTuber apologies. Now we're just, just strumming the guitar and singing about Now the internet's defaming me I'm gonna go on a shooting spree On everyone who wants to kill me And yeah overall that was a very interesting journey to say the least And overall even though that guy is an idiot Mainly for making people actually have to defend Logan Paul This guy did actually bring to public prominence The potential PFAS issue in Prime Energy And as the lawsuit hasn't concluded at the time this video has been uploaded It will be interesting to see how it goes from here And if you want to know where I'm going It's exams in like 2 weeks So this will probably be the last video in a while Or I might be able to like push out one more For the algorithm I need those subscribers during my hiatus And yeah all my social media is at Heliophobia my twitter has an underscore at the end of it and i'm off this godforsaken mp4 file no i wasn't gonna kill myself for now <laughs>